Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ziad, Crohn's disease patient, NHS worker and educator, here bringing you IBD facts and taboo breaking chats. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. So the next medication we're going to look at are corticosteroids. So corticosteroids are also known as steroids, but they are not the same as the steroids that are associated with bodybuilding, as they work by reducing the activity of cells found in the immune system that activate inflammatory responses rather than building muscle. Now corticosteroids are strong and work very quickly, which is why they are often used to help treat those who are having a flare up. They are usually used as a short term treatment option as they impact on the amount of cortisol that is produced by the adrenal glands in the body. However, if they are being used for long term treatment, the lowest dose possible is given. The most common corticosteroids used to treat IBD are budenoside multi-matrix systems, budenoside, hydrocortisone, methylprednisolone, prednisolone and prednisone. Which brings us on to our next section of how do corticosteroids work. So corticosteroids can come in a slow release capsule or tablet that releases its active ingredient at a certain pH level within the intestines. They work by targeting receptors called glucocorticoid receptors to produce their effects of which suppress the activity of the immune system and so can also be considered as immunosuppressants. Corticosteroids are carried to the cells by a protein which allows it to bind onto a receptor called glucocorticoid receptor forming a complex which activates a series of events that increases the production of lipocortin, which is a protein that stops some inflammatory processes from occurring, thereby reducing inflammation. Now it should be mentioned that corticosteroids can be given intravenously, especially when you go into hospital during a flare up. Now the risks associated with corticosteroids, it's important to note that you should avoid eating grapefruit and drinking alcohol as these can increase the levels of the medication within the body. Other things to consider when on corticosteroids include some people can have an allergic reaction to the medication which can cause breathing difficulties and can be fatal and requires immediate medical attention. Physical changes can occur to someone as well. So changes to a person's physical appearance can occur, such as developing a rounded facial appearance known as moon face. Corticosteroids can also increase the risk of feeling anxious, depressed and have mood swings, which can impact on mental health. In addition to this, the physical changes that can occur while being on corticosteroids can also impact on mental health as they can cause mood changes, body image and self-confidence issues. Corticosteroids can cause growth and development problems in children and adolescents, which is why the medications are mainly avoided or used cautiously when it comes to children. As corticosteroids weaken the immune system, some may find that they may get more infections than usual, which take longer to recover from.